第。A knot, a tradition, a way of life, this delicate leaf gifted to us by nature has the power to soothe and stimulate one mentally and physically. It has been popularly known as the elixir of clarity and wakeful tranquility known for its medicinal abilities in the earlier days it was also used as offerings in temples for the buddhist monks has it helped them remain calm during meditation this invigorating leaf has played a significant role in the history of world during a long day he spent roaming around the forest for collecting herbs The very farmer Shenno accidentally poisoned himself. But before the poison could end his life, a leaf drifted into his mouth. He chewed on it and it revived him and that is how we discovered tea. Archaeological evidence suggests tea was first cultivated there 6000 years ago. The original Chinese tea plant is the same type that is ground around the world today. Tea leaf was used very differently during the past as a vegetable or cooked with grain porridge. Tea shifted from food to drink 1500 years ago after hundreds of years of variation to the preparation method the standard became to heat tea packed into portable cakes grated into powder mixed with hot water and create beverage called mocha. After that tea arrived in Europe and spread to other places like Holland, Russia Kenya, India, South Africa, South Korea, Sri Lanka, Malaysia. In many cultures, tea is consumed at elevated social events such as the tea party. Tea ceremonies have arisen in different cultures such as the Chinese and Japanese traditions, each of which employs certain techniques and ritualized protocol of brewing and serving the tea for enjoyment in a refined setting. Indian tea culture is strong. It is the most popular drink in the country. It is consumed daily in almost all houses, offered to the guests, consumed in high amount in domestic and official surroundings, and is made with the addition of milk with or without spices, and is usually sweetened. At homes, it sometimes served with the biscuits to be dipped and eaten before the consuming the tea. The tea plant can handle a light frost and even snow but not heavy freezes or prolonged cold winters. It can thus grow from the subtropical climates to the tropical climates but generally records a far amount of humidity and rainfall during the growing season. The tea manufacturing involves many processes. The first one is plucking of the leaves. The green leaf is harvested on a regular basis at intervals ranging from 5 days to 8 days from each field. The plucking of the soft leaves and the bunt is generally undertaken by well trained women. വെയിൽ കാരണം ഏഴരയ്ക്ക് തുടങ്ങും പന്ത്രണ്ടരയ്ക്ക് അവസാനിക്കും പണ്ട് ഇവിടെ ഇഷ്ടമാതിരി തൊഴിലാളികൾ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു പക്ഷെ ഇപ്പോൾ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു വരുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ എന്താ പറയുക ഒക്കെ ലോപിച്ച് ആൾക്കാർ വളരെ കുറവാണ് പിന്നെന്താ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഇരുപത്തേഴ് കിലോ വെട്ടിയാലും ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് കൂലി കിട്ടുള്ളൂ ട്രാക്ടർ ഇവിടെ വന്നിട്ട് കളക്ട് ചെയ്ത് കൊണ്ടുപോകും പണ്ട് കാലത്ത് കുറേ ദൂരമൊക്കെ ഏറ്റി കൊണ്ടുപോകണം കൈ കൈകൊണ്ടായിരുന്നു പറിക്കൽ Each of these women will contribute about 26 kg of plucked tea leaves at the end of the working day. This method has been introduced to count to the effects of large scale migration by labor communities to the big cities. 
this plucked tea leaves are transported to the nearest factory No sooner it is received at the factory, the leaf is weighed and spread on trough. Withering is a process where conditioned air is circulated between the leaves, initially to remove any surface moisture and thereafter to concentrate the chemical breakdown the tea juices. It takes 10 hours to 14 hours for the physical and chemical changes to take place. The tea leaves to soft and rubbery condition suitable for the next stage of manufacture. Rolling is the process by which the leaf is twisted and the leaf cell walls are ruptured to bring the juice to the surface of the leaf. The rolling machine have deep jacket, a pressure cap to apply the pressure on the leaf. And the table itself has battens and a cone the center of the twist the leaf. This process take about 20 to 30 minutes. Thereafter, to separate the twisted leaf from the untwisted and to reduce the heat buildup, the rolled leaf is passed over a roll breaker. This machine have meshes which separates the rolled leaves. The unrolled leaves are put back into the rollers for further rolling whilst the rolled leaves are fermented. The primary objective of drying is the extraction of moisture and the arresting of fermentation. The fermented leaf contains from 45% to 50% moisture. The leaf is passed through dryers which have circuit of dryers with perforation on which are conveyed the fermented leaf. Very 
ഒരു മണിക്കൂർ ഇരുന്നൂറ്റി അമ്പത് കിലോലാണ് ഒരു മണിക്കൂറിൽ അടുപ്പിൽ വറുത്ത് വറുക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നത് The tea leaves are graded according to size and shapes as the trade demands. The different grades of tea are identified nomenclature. On completion of the grading, teas are stored in an airtight bin or boxes. The process is carried out on a series of grading and cleaning machines which have several trays of different mesh sizes to separate the tea particles to the various grades of tea and to remove the stock and fiber namale avadu clean cheythu varuna podi namale aa machine ittanengile namukku or aaru grade podi varu avaru naal leaf grade um rendu dust grade um idu oro grade um namale rendavathum onnodi cleaning ilu povu vera machine like it onnodi clean cheythu The graded tea leaves are then passed through a series of rollers and shakers. They are often fitted with small magnets to extract out the iron based impurities from the tea. The tea is then jerked properly for a few minutes and then arranged in different chambers based on their grain size. The processed tea is either packed into plywood tea box of walled aluminum craft paper, lined paper sacks and dispatched to the auctions, or packed into tea packs of various form for direct export or distribution. Jai, I am a factory supervisor. I am a factory supervisor. ഇത് പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ എന്ന് വെച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നമ്മുടെ ഫാക്ടറിയിൽ ഇപ്പോൾ ഓർത്തഡോക്സ് ടീ ആണ് നമ്മൾ പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ചെയ്യുന്നത് സാധാരണ മറ്റു ഫാക്ടറി തൊണ്ണൂറ് അറുപത് ശതമാനം എഴുപത് ശതമാനം ഫാക്ടറികളും സി ടി സി ആയിരിക്കും ക്രൂവൽ കട്ട് സാധാരണ അതിൻ്റെ അത് അത് ഇനി പച്ചത്തൈല അരച്ചിട്ടാണ് അത് നമ്മൾ സാധാരണ കടയിൽ കിട്ടുന്നതൊക്കെ പിന്നെ ഗ്രീൻ ടീ ഇവിടെ നമ്മൾ ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്നത് ഓർത്തഡോക്സ് ടീ ഫാക്ടറിയിൽ ഇപ്പോൾ നമ്മളൊരു മുപ്പത് മുപ്പത്തഞ്ച് ടെമ്പറി അടക്കം മുപ്പത്തഞ്ച് വർക്കേഴ്സ് ഉണ്ട് വീട്ടിൽ ഇപ്പോൾ പഴയ കാലത്തൊക്കെ നാനൂറ്റി അമ്പത് അഞ്ഞൂറ് തൊഴിലാളികൾ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നത് ഇപ്പോൾ തന്നെ ചോദിച്ച് ചോദിച്ച് ഇപ്പോൾ ഒരു നൂറ്റി അൻപത് ഇരുന്നൂറ് താഴെയായി വന്നു ദർ ആർ മോർ ദാൻ വൺ തൗസൻഡ് വെറൈറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് ടീസ് ബട്ട് സർപ്രൈസിംഗ്ലി ആൾ കമ്മിങ് ഫ്രം ദ സെയിം പ്ലാന്റ് വിച്ച് ഈസ് കെമേലിയ സിനാൻസിസ് ദിസ് പ്ലാന്റ് ഗിവ്സ് അസ് ദ മെയിൻ ഫൈവ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ടീ ടു ചൂസ് ഫ്രം ദർ ആർ ദ വൈറ്റ് ഗ്രീൻ ഊലോങ് black and post fermented tea just as the growing and production of tea can be both art and science so is the creation of each cup the fine art of the tea drinking is indeed a sort of cultural magic so widely adored that it has also evolved into an intensely thriving ritual abandoned with individual preference william ewart gladstone has rightly said if you are cold tea will warm you if you are warm tea will cool you if you are excited it will soothe you and if you are lethargic it will stimulate you fresh at timeless tea is both the flavor of a moment and the taste of the past <laughs>